and uh, as you can see behind me there's a little park here uh, entrance to the farmers market and let's take a look at the food in uh, this video we are going to show some of the foods that I like in the Philippines if you are familiar with Asian food for example Thailand food you know that it is very delicious but sometimes no offense to the Filipino people the Filipino food is not always recognized as being as yummy as uh, some of the other foods from the other Asian countries uh, so uh, it took me a while to find some foods as well that I like in the Philippines but here are uh, a few of the good ones that I really enjoy Don't stop. start here from my apartment and uh, um, some of it will be all air, air conditioned walking inside a shopping mall but I usually walk several miles per day uh, I'm not sure if we have enough memory on this uh, um, uh, memory card here on on the video recorder but uh, let's try and let's start and see how far we can get <laughs> Entering the market at one of the uh, gates here. Usually, what I get here is uh, some cold drink, freshly made juice, and we'll uh, show you where that is. Uh, I also normally get some uh, lichan, which is like uh, uh, barbecued uh, pig and I get it without the fat, without a skin and I'm sure it's a lot healthier than some of the some of the pigs that are in the US Filipino bananas mm, ice not sure how clean that ice is maybe it's not for drinking but maybe just for cooling <clears throat> well, let's get some fruit juice first because it's really hot. I think it's 36 degrees today, Celsius. Mango, banana, half sugar. So they're busy uh, making fruit juice here. I think they have uh, no electric power, but they are using car batteries to drive their uh, their blenders here. They've got a good setup with about five employees working all day turning out purchases at uh, 50, 50 pesos uh, a glass here okay best yogurt in the Philippines by Luca <laughs> and 
big assortment of cheeses. Very yummy. Cotta, mozzarella, tacchino, cacciotta. So I'm standing uh, outside here of my favorite, my number one place for picking up uh, afternoon snack. Turons, they make it at about 3 p.m. every day, but they're sold out already. They have one here. They are really good. Since they were uh, sold out or had only one or two to Ron's left, here's a picture of what it actually looks like. Hello! <laughs> it's video. <laughs> Lots of people standing and waiting in line. So, oh, that looks pretty dangerous. Let's try to cross here. See if they will stop. No, well, maybe. They, they usually stop about a foot away from your body, one or two feet, so got to be careful. But I'm looking for some Tahoe. Sorry? You're looking for what? Uh, Tahoe, do you know? Tahoe, Maybe Walter Mart? Yes, sir. It's the Okay, I'll try. Salamat. Good morning. Kamusta? Uh, yes, yes, of course. I need my Tahoe early in the morning. <laughs> Easy to cook. Huh? Easy to cook. What? Easy to cook. Easy to cook. Oh, yes, right. Oh, okay. And, and yummy. <laughs> and uh, don't, don't worry about the pearl. Uh, no, not really. Yeah, don't, don't, not too much. All right, looks, looks perfect. Okay. So I just got a nice Tahoe from Masalina. Let me try it out. Oh, very yummy, very yummy. Mm. Thumbs up. The best Tahoe in Manila. <laughs> Here's Masolino. That video is huh? on rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. I'm recording you now. Kamusta? Long time no see. Can you make me a special? Um, one quarter, one half. Uh, one quarter, but no, no skin, no fat. So, how much for? Uh, Two and ten. Quarter. Quarter, no fat, no skin. So I've received my lichon. I'm gonna dive in with some rice and no skin and hopefully not too much fat. Uh, sitting here under the shaded uh, area of uh, like uh, Salcedo Farmers Market on Saturday. And, uh, it's super yummy. Uh, but I, I asked them not to uh, give me any of the fat or any of the skin, which has too much cholesterol for my liking. But uh, this is just uh, the white meat, mostly all, all protein, no fat. And uh, I already uh, ordered and received my banana mango juice here. So, and it's with ice, very cold. Uh, today is about 36 degrees. So where can you find uh, Halo Halo, which is a Filipino dessert uh, here in Greenbelt? Well, right behind me, you can find it at Ray Zones. Not sure how you pronounce it, but uh, it's pretty good. It's not my favorite place to get a Halo Halo, and it's a little pricey. It's 105 pesos. Uh, my favorite place to get a Halo Halo is actually uh, in a place called Inasal. So I'm uh, at Inasal waiting for my Halo Halo. And it's a complete madhouse here today because uh, it's lunchtime and lots of people. And uh, this is a good place if you want inexpensive Filipino food. Today we're gonna see how 
my American friend Sir Niels Rognerud tastes on Halo Halo. Okay, sir? Alright, so Ube on top? Yes. And uh, here's the first date. Mm. That's, that's the real deal. <laughs> is it yummy? Very yummy. And uh, what is this fruit? Yes, it's a langka. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love Halo Halo. You Perfect really for the hot weather. Yes. <laughs> so you're loving Philippines now. <laughs>